Hi, so far you already know about ABB's collaborative robot Single Immune, and you want to know more about its safety features. So, in this video, we'll talk about collision. I will explain you what is a collision, what happens when this occurs, and why it is not a risk for you. But let's have a look at some characteristics of our Single Immune, because this robot is designed to be inherently safe. First of all, the arm is very light. It weighs around 7 kilos, and also the maximum allowed payload of this robot is 0.5 kilograms. It follows that the inertia during the robot movement will be very low. Then, the mechanical structure of the arm is designed to avoid pinching between any robot link, and also all the edges of the arm are rounded. The whole structure is covered in soft rubber pads in order to absorb uh, more energy during an unwanted impact. Thanks to these features, the single Amiumi can move much faster than other higher payload cobot in the market. And even if its maximum speed is 1.5 meter per second, uh, we still respect the constraints given by the ISO 15066 technical specification. But before moving forward, we should understand that um, when we are using the word collision in robotics, we are actually describing two different scenarios. The first one is the case of the transient contact, where the impact between the robot and the human operator happens in an open space. It, it comes that the collision force after the impact will be zero. The second case is the quasi-static contact. In this particular scenario, uh, the body part of the human, for example one hand, gets hit by the robot arm, but after that gets pinched between the robot arm and another fixtures, for example the table. It follows that the residual force of the impact will be no longer zero. Let's proceed with a practical demonstration. What you can see here is a very simple representation of a pick-and-place application. Uh, you can easily notice that the part that the robot is handling is very light, it's a plastic cube, and that there are no sharp edges, nor on the part, nor on the gripper. However, we should always take care of the gripper fingers and avoid any contact with eyes. For this reason, I'm wearing my safety goggles. Now that the robot is moving, I will try to stop it. As you noticed, I was able to stop it with my bare finger touch. And to restart the program is very easy. It's enough to press play on the flex pendant to not slow down my production any further. In this other case, I will try to simulate a quasi-static contact by getting pinched between the robot and the desk. The robot picks up the part. I put my hands below. As you noticed, the robot arm became compliant in order to reduce the contact force and also it retracted from the collision position. So in this case, I'm free to move away my hand from the collision area without any problem. And also in this case, it's enough to press OK in the flex pendant to restart the program from where it has been stopped. I hope that this video will help you understand the collision concept. If you are interested into any other Cobot-related topic, please share your feedback through the comment section below. I will come back to you with other interesting topics, but till then, please check out our YouTube channel for more Cobot videos. And don't forget to visit our webpage for updates on ABB's collaborative robots. See you next time. Bye-bye.